How y'all doing? It's Rob Burnham, make your preaching and the R&B and the snow to so rich really and comments this time. I'm doing another episode of Vampire Diary Reviews. This time I'm reviewing Vampire Diaries Season 3, Episode 20. What happens on this week's episode is, uh, they, Elena and them's having a, uh, dance toward the middle of the episode. And what happens is, is Tyler winds up going to the dance, even though Caroline tells them not to because she doesn't want Tyler and Klaus to get into an altercation. But Tyler tells her she'll, he'll just act like he's still sired to Klaus, which he does. And what else is happening is, uh, Esther is, uh, we found out in the last episode that Esther's in Rebecca's body, so she gets a large help to get back into her own body. Whenever this happens, she puts a boundary spell onto the school where all the vampires can't leave the school. And she's planning on turning Rick into a vampire, uh, hunt, a vampire, vampire hunter, like Michael was. And to do this plan, she has to do all this stuff with Rick. But uh, Damon and Stefan try to stop this by killing Rick toward the end of the episode. And Rick uh, gets the help of the doctor to be able to do this and winds up dying. Well, Bonnie is. Her body's being controlled by Esther from the afterlife, and she offers uh, Lark her blood, and Lark becomes a vampire and feeds on her, and we'll have to see what happens with that. Uh, only other thing that's happening is that uh, uh, really that's all that really happened besides Bonnie being controlled by Esther and Esther telling Bonnie that her her ancestors want her to do this. But then that's all that really happened. Of course, if y'all is now that uh, Alark is a vampire slash vampire hunter, what's going on after that? As always, Rob Burnham, make your future man RV, so I'm not guys give you awesome spin episode of Richard Land Comics. Yeah,